Hi everyone, it's Tina again from Hummingbird Tales, back to share some more entries. Um, I just want to apologise, I made a little tiny mistake on my previous video. Um, I had Ivy and Cynthia's um, entries and they were eight and nine, but I filmed them the wrong way round, so I did nine and eight. But, you know, they were still the two that I was going to film on that day. So we have another one here from the USA, who's number 10. And this, I think, comes from California. Now, I haven't snipped this one open yet, so I'm just going to do it now, as carefully as I can. Uh, okay, here we go. Okay. So, what have we got here? Oh, look at this. Let's pull that down. So we've got a floating like pocket. Ah, oh, it's lovely. Okay. Right, let's read the letter because I've just found a little note. Uh, Hi, Tina. Um, I mailed my entry to you yesterday, but I forgot to include this little nature thing on the jig. So it's coming to you under a separate cover. Okay, I realised after that I had forgotten to include this. That is my life, laugh out loud. Well, hopefully my entry will arrive before October. Will you take care and have fun crafting? I don't know what you sent the other one in, but I do find that if it's sent as a letter or a card, um, it seems to come quicker. But don't worry, because you are entered anyway. Um, thank you so much for sending me this as well. This is so pretty. And look, maroon. Love the maroon with the lime green. So she's got a floating pocket here and you can make this as a flip out or you can use it, you could put it in the center of a page or just put it into the journal as a part of a signature. But it's very pretty and I love the way you've done it. I love your colors. Wow, she's got all sorts of bits and pieces in here. Oh, let's let's have a look. Oh, oh my days, how cute! Oh, so this is the pocket, and I think she's embossed. Sorry, she's embossed these beautiful flowers here that look like lavender. Um, it feels oh so vintage and lush, and then she's made. I think now there's something in here. Oh yes, okay. So she's made this little embellishment, which could go on the top of a page, or it could go down here, or it could go somewhere completely different. And she's got this tiny weeny envelope and this lovely bow that she's made, all in the maroons and the greens. And in the back, it's a little tiny pocket. And I don't know if I can grab this. Yes, I can. Look at that. A little dinky heart. Yep, she's that's a little dinky heart. So cute. Lovely idea, Laura. That's fabulous. And then look at this. This little pocket. Oh, it's so gorgeous. So she's she's done one of these. Now I saw when um oh my days, what's that lovely lady called? Marsha sent me my Abbey Mail a few weeks ago. Um, with all the Tim Holtz goodies she made something very similar to this where she cut the top off an envelope or something and then she made it slide back on top just like that and you've also done that and I haven't tried that yet and I'm going to do it because I think it's a fabulous idea but you know you've made this look so vintage again I love seeing the vintage mixed with the um, nature theme and here she's got these tiny i don't know if you can see this but it's actually raised tiny little flowers on a stem lovely bit of ribbon there and is this a pocket oh oh my goodness look how cute that is wow this is just incredibly clever coffee dyed paper there that's been perforated So that one just sat in there and then 
Does that one that one folds out as well? And in the back we've got this one. Wow, I think that's so clever. I love it. Oh, I might have to pinch that idea. Definitely. And then if you put the lid back on it, it keeps it all together. Let's do that. There we go. And pull that bow around. That is so cute. Wow, thank you so much. That's so pretty. And just so different. And then she's made this beautiful tag. And she's got bits of gold on here. She's put gold around the edge. She's decoupage. She's layered. She's added gems. That looks like a little butterfly. Or it could be a little bit of a flower, actually. Um, oh, excuse my tummy rumbling. She's made that to go with the flowers there. And that is... Does that come off? I know that my... No. But you can clip something on the back. I don't want to wreck it. Oh, it does come off. Beg your pardon. That is fantastic. Now, I really like that idea. I really do. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. And there's the back with coffee dyed paper. I truly love the colour combinations you've used. Really beautiful. Oh, thank you so much, Laura. I'm absolutely thrilled with that. I, I don't want to hide these. Oh, look. I don't think that was meant to come off, actually. I'll glue that bit back on. I'll stick that back in there. Try and be gentle, Tina, please. Oh, so cute. Wow. Thank you so much, Laura. Okay, number 10. Laura. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. So, Laura, you're now in here as well thank you thank you so very much my lovely that's lovely and we've got another one here now this has come from the uk because it's got an english stamp on it and i did open it here just to have a little peek because it's got washy and i thought oh that must be an entry then i thought hmm did I order some crafty bits and did somebody put that on their envelope that I order stuff from? Because that happens as well. But no, it is an entry. And I know that because it's wrapped. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is number 11. And this is a beautiful, um, like a turquoise paper. I just love opening your work. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Let's move that there. So this is the entry. Oh, it's blues, it's fairies. Oh, and there's a card. Let's read this card. And cut the envelope open. So I can reuse it without cutting the card. I think I'm nearly there. Oh, this looks like a handmade card. Oh, just look at this. I'll move that out of the way a moment. How beautiful is this? Absolutely beautiful. It's self-explanatory. She's embossed this and there's bits cut out. So that comes out of the embossing. She's layered up gem, uh, pearl gems in here. There's some paper flowers, some ribbon. I love the twine and the metal heart. It's so pretty. And on this textured um, card. Uh, okay, this is from Pip. Hi, Pip from Essex. Dear Tina, thank you for letting me enter your fun challenge. You'll get lots of lovely entries, I expect, and hope you like my little effort. I look forward to seeing you, your end journal with everyone's work. Wow, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. So I think I'm going to wait until everything's in. And then go from there. But, oh, this is absolutely lovely, Pip. Thank you so much. And that will go in there as well. Absolutely beautiful. So, she has just packaged this so incredibly beautifully. And she's got trims and all in here as well. So, I'm not going to open the top. But she's got it all matching together, hasn't she? Wow. So, I'm going to open the bottom, which I think is the thing to do. So, I don't mess up that lovely topper. 
Wow. She has made this beautiful fairy tag. And it's more than an effort, Pip. It's beautiful. So she's done a very similar thing here to her card where she's got twine and a little metal embellishment here of a bucket of flowers. Hello, Bandit. And, oh, it's an envelope. I beg your pardon, Pip. I thought it was a tag. <laughs> but do you know what? It doesn't matter. It's both. It's absolutely stunning. She's got this beautiful fairy on here, which could be a sticker. And she's stamped and she's coloured and added this beautiful trim. That's lovely. That's one of those. I got loads of these. Never used them. Now I know how. Beads at the top. It is so, so pretty. And up here it says, fly towards your dreams on butterfly wings. Oh, absolutely perfect. So she's done this beautiful coin envelope. I will look inside and guess what's inside? A tag. <laughs> tag and a tag. Can I get, oh, I can get this out. Oh, look. So what she's done with this, which is really lovely, she's distressed it. Thankfully, grateful, blessed. I feel thankful, grateful, blessed. I feel that every day. I truly do. And she's got a little bit of twine up here. And that's a journaling spot. And I just think that that is absolutely gorgeous, Pip. Beautifully made. Lovely job. I'll just make sure and get that back in. Without, I won't fold it down because I haven't got it in properly. And look at these. Oh, wow. Now, this is beautiful. It's really soft. Thank you so much for these. And a pom-pom trim that doesn't dangle. Look at that. I haven't got anything like that. And they're oval little pom-poms. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, this feels beautiful. It's so soft. It's just like a textured ribbon trim. Really soft. And I love this. Look at that. Now, do you know what I thought when I saw this? That would make a brilliant fence on one of my collage pieces. <laughs> um, I don't know if you've seen some of my nature things I've made where I've created scenery with animals using Artie Mace's kits and some animals I've cut out of books. And I was using burlap for fences, but actually that would make a good fence. Either way, that's great. Oh, wonderful. Well, that's lovely. Thank you so much, Pip. I'm absolutely delighted with that. So let's enter you into the challenge. Your number 11. 11. And Pip, and I just want to remember your last name. Saucer. Saucer Field. Okay. Saucer Field. And I'll put UK or England because I know then i got to figure out where I'm sending all these things. I, when I do draw the winners out, I will contact you and uh, get your addresses and everything. Brilliant. Wow, two more fantastic entries once again. Now, where did I put the other one I just had? Here it is. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Thank you so much, ladies, for your entries. I am chuffed to bits. I absolutely love them. Um, I wish you all luck. And uh, I will be back again to show you some more entries very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Bye.